lunch pail or the sandwich you packed and let Les and Freddie S. bring you jokes and nostalgia mixed in with important information about medicine, food, dating, or just the stuff you need to help that bagel go down nice and smoothly. And if you have a story about anything you want to share, a bad date, a movie review, or just the strangest thing that happened to you at work, call in and join the fun toll-free at 1-800-889-0267. Right now, sit back and let's start the lunch break. Freddie S. and Les are ready, so here are he- the boys. Good. Oh, Freddie, you, you opened the show. I'm sorry, I'm not here yet. Talk my ear. I can't hear it. Go ahead. Oh, hi. This is this is Maniac OS. I'm here with a whole bunch of people, man. This is going to be the best Freaky Friday you've ever heard. But Woo! let me see if I can mention everyone here. Okay, I got Freddie S, Connecticut, Liz, the hot and sexy Lisa. I look forward to Friday. And some guy that was standing outside. We asked him to come on in. This is... <laughs> Uh, thank you for coming in, David. Is it Dave or John? Zifu. Zifu, okay. Zifu, Dave. Zifu, Dave. Uh, don't forget to drop the seafood at the house. Okay, so <laughs> before I start today, I got to say something. This is Freaky Friday. Everything goes. Before I start, I got to tell you what happened to me, guys. I was, on, I was calling American Express. There was a discrepancy in my bill. Now, I'm not a prejudiced guy. I love everybody. Now, I'm a Jew from Brooklyn, so most people can't understand me. Here's the way the phone rang. Hello. American Express. <laughs> so my first thing was, do you know Raj from uh, from the Big Bang Theory? Oh, no, do not know no Raj. I, I have a discrepancy in my bill. Oh, what is it? I said, let me ask you a question. How hot is it up there? Oh, nice. Yeah, I said, where are you calling? I am calling from India. I said, could I have an American please that speaks English? <gasps> and he gave it to me. I understood the guy from India better than the way he was trying to explain oh, to me what the no. discrepancy was. So, Freddie? I'm not keeping you up, am I? Okay. I just, do you want to introduce these really great people we have here today? Or do you want me to do it? Wait a minute. That's the whole, that, that, that's the whole story. Am I supposed to thank is people? That, is that the whole story? Yeah, I, I missed the point of this. I don't Wait, understand the story. I was telling you what happened to me. Oh, take it easy. I was telling you I want to. I want you to introduce these wonderful people. I wanted you to do the open, and obviously you did it the oh, last way. I that's forgot. okay. That's okay. Let me do it. That's why I make this all this money. I want to say, I understand. I want to thank our sponsors at 2TV. I want to thank Health and Wealth. Okay. I want to thank Sky H2O with the water under his, the ground and the famous Dr. Pinozo, the whisperer. No, the, the, the health whisperer. <laughs> I almost said whisper. something else. <laughs> the something whisperer. Oh, yeah. The whisperer. Now, before, before we get to our guests, you, you know, this is why you, you get all over the place. Did you say hi to the board operator? Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Hi, board operator. Hi. Or should I say broad operator? Uh, oh, I like that. Okay, we have the broad operator. I like broad did he, operator. Did he say hi to you, by the way? Yeah, sure. Yeah, whatever. I did. I said hello. Daisy, he did sort I of, say hi? He sort of yes, waved. Yes, I said hello to everyone here. He, he sort of waved. Let nobody say hi. You ever notice Puerto Ricans have a good Meanwhile, so meanwhile, meanwhile hold up, hold up. <laughs> meanwhile, I didn't know there was a tour coming. You I guys can't got hear like, anything. You, oh, this well, is our grand tour. I can't believe you had. You guys have like a tour. There's like 8,000 people in the in There's the 8,000 people in here. It's crazy. And wait, till, and wait till you see this shot. If you go to Am2.TV... <laughs> You can see all the lunatics in here, and you got two people over here sharing a headset. Well, we're we're sh- we we're we're short space where is, today. Where is your headset? We're spreading the love. There, there's not enough places for me to plug in. As long as it's only love, there's not enough places to plug into. No. I tried to plug in, and Les said that I was making him deaf by plugging in. No, no, when she in, plugged so. into this thing, I couldn't hear on the earphones. <laughs> right, but so you have to lower it and up. No, no, I have it as high as I can. I couldn't right, hear. We'll, we'll fix that. We'll hey, Freddie, do the percent. freaking show. Let's not worry about we'll the technical crap. The, the AM need, radio, people. AM radio. AM radio. We may need a few. Do you want me to? I have the paperwork here. Do you want me to introduce our guest? I have paperwork here. You want to do it? Okay, let me see you do it. Okay. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everybody, and this is Les Mayer coming here from the broadcasting booth of 1230 WBZT. We have the beautiful and talented Lisa Dwaskin, who you hear every Sunday at? At 1 p.m. And you talk about? We're talking about transforming your mind, body, spirit. I'm getting hooked by this headphone. I'm still not hearing anything, so hey. Transforming your mind, body, spirit. This I'm Sunday... We're going to be talking about positive mindset through disease prevention. Wow. So we have a very great guest coming on, Peter Twist. Say say that again. You're going through what? Who have disease prevention. Disease prevention. Wow. We're going to be talking about how positive mindset, nutrition, and exercise can actually prevent disease or cure disease. So that's what we're going to be talking about. about. Beat beat cancer with uh, fitness and health. Mm-hmm. He's growing the elephant. I was lucky to meet him up in Toronto at one of his seminars a couple of years ago. 
Peter, yeah. But anyway, so we're going to now introduce Dave. So you want me to do it or you do well, it? Well, you know what? You know Dave better than no, I do, right. So okay. you introduce him. You want so, the paperwork? No, no, no. Oh, you I don't really do, do know him, huh? No, of course. Dave, Dave, you got to sit up because now she's going to introduce you. you I've known him range. for a couple of years. Dave is so freaking cool. He can do whatever he wants. It's true. It's true. I met Dave on the street at 1.30 in the morning one night when I, I was that. out with my girlfriends. <laughs> I understand he, why, ladies. If you tune in, he's pretty hot. He just levitated from the sky. But seriously, I feel that what he... What were you drinking? He, a couple of, couple of glasses of wine. <laughs> just a couple. <laughs> anyway, this hair is so funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like he's got stocking. that crazy, crazy wild surfer yeah, dude. And I'm just and chill kind of hair. Totally. Super cool. So anyway, I feel like God placed him in my life because he's very, very spiritual. He was a, He's a Buddhist lama. He lived in Tibet for five years. He's a martial artist expert. He won seven world records. He levitates things. International really world cool. records, honey. <laughs> what do you Not mean he levitates? What do you well, mean he I'll levit- let him talk about it, but the most important thing I just want to share with the viewers is this man is a walking encyclopedia, but what's so incredible about him, he heals people. He, he loves people, and he really, really tries to help people. He's a beautiful soul. And an amazing person. Lisa, so go ahead and you'll Lisa, talk about the levitation. Quick question. Sure. Quick question. Does Hello, he have everybody. An, Hold on. Wait, got question. a quick question. What? Does he have an older brother? Do you have, um, and he doesn't have an older brother, but let me tell you. How about sister? He could handle like 10 women, so no, no, don't I, worry. I got to be exclusive. I got to be exclusive. piece of him. <laughs> I'm too old for that. You know, that's the, that's okay. the misconception here in the Western world. And we study that in the <laughs> temple. Stolen. We study that in Buddha's lot. Exclusivity, things like that, which, which seem to be noble concepts in premise. But ultimately, it's about possession and control and not... You know, not that we have to be aversive to any type of situation or interaction, but the premise that we've all been brainwashed with. Origami. Yeah, damaged with. <laughs> See, the, the origami's just happening spontaneously. Totally. So, you know, the notion that interactions, human interactions, in any way are exploitive or possessive is fundamentally antithetical to Buddhism. Uh, Buddha talks about non-detachment, yeah, non-attachment rather, detachment. And I, even as a young monk and a Buddhist lama, I didn't quite, couldn't quite get my head around that because I was raised initially here in the West. But then I realized detachment is not disassociating from the experience. Detachment is the only position from which you can actually engage in an experience as opposed to simply being, you know, involuntarily compelled by biochemical processes to respond and react like an animal in certain ways. And we can, you know, we can talk about that. And we further. debate all the time about attachment, detachment, monogamy, non-monogamy, but that's another. Two show. more I'm questions. I'm curious why while he's talking about something so so deep, he's making an airplane and, and, and flying across the room. Wait a minute. I thought that was origami. Oh, he's going to levitate. That that's was the airplane. Hold on, hold on. I have two more questions. And he levitated the airplane. Two more questions. No, no. <laughs> you can't. Very you, the first is an observation. You can't, you can't stand because you're out of shot. You gotta Come levitate. Here, where are you going? You gotta levitate from the ceiling. And, and I also love that he's wearing a Superman That's shirt. That's what I, I was gonna say. That that is no accident, right? That you're wearing a Superman <laughs> shirt. They're they're my pajamas, actually. I, Damn. Let me just say this: if I looked like him. him when I was at the University of Miami, I would get to Magic Mountain every night. All right, oh, and then guys. and the next, it's wow. not so even a Magic question. Magic Mountain is our Les's term for. Well, you know, ultimate, it's a euphemism. It's a euphemism. Ultimate love. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hold on. Yes. Hold on. So yes. my next, my next thing but is ultimately, ultimately, ultimately love. You can read from the phone book, and baby, I will listen. You know uh. what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, Connecticut, I have a funny story for you. This guy goes into a nightclub. Where's my belt? With his Superman okay. shirt and shorts on, and sometimes he doesn't wear a shirt, and he goes into the nightclub. Never drinks alcohol, doesn't do drugs. He's on top of the tables dancing, and all the girls are drawn to him like magnets. It's so funny. I do the same thing. Yeah, so good kid. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. When I get to the table, they laugh at me, too. <laughs> the other day, remember, Connecticut, we yes. went to that place and left all the girls. Oh, yeah, come on, Daisy. Yeah. Get into this. Remember that and, and thing? We, got we had to, to leave. We had, we had to see his G-string. Yeah, yeah we got to see that. I've never seen Connecticut talk so much on the show. <laughs> I know. He's right? he like... <laughs> you know, I was going to... A buddy of mine said, you know, we're in pretty good shape for our 70s. I said, let's go... Let's go to a Century Village and do dancing. 
but the problem with that is all those girls are going to give us change. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> They're not going to give us bills and give us change. Oh, you're funny. What are you doing with this thing? Uh, right, anyway, so that, it doesn't that, matter that, that, that we can't let's, hear. Let's, let's move on. Let's talk let's a little on. bit about... Um, which now is, none of us here. Is pretty good. <laughs> so this conversation is very weird. And yes. let's, can, the listeners can, out can there we, we need, need to be inspired. Thank you. Can we do this at the break? I let's talk a little bit about um, what you're going to be doing on Sunday uh, okay. and what you've done on Sunday. It's because you have a show here at, at uh, BCT in 94.3. Right. And the reason you're on here, though you brought Mr. Levitation Guy over there, <laughs> is <laughs> rocking the world. Levitation. That's what she says, that you levitate people. I see, Maybe she levitates I see, her. I seen your video where you break bricks and catch arrows with blindfolds. We'll get into that in a second. That must be, people must be, they, there's a little overlap there, I think. <laughs> He's no. so cool. I love this I guy. Saw, I saw it this morning, so I was an overlap. Right, but sure anyway. Our own show. Get rid of that. So I anyway. think he's levitating Lisa's mind and body. Okay, I think anyway, that's really I'll, I'll let's, take let's over. Let's talk, let's let's talk a little blood bit about pressure. what you're doing on Sunday. Right, okay. Um, and people can call in. How can you help people with what you do? Okay, well, I teach about transforming mind, body, spirit, and I'm trying to get people to be more positive, to exercise more, to eat healthy, but the most important thing is the mindset, and that's why Dave is here today to help me talk about this, because positivity and putting good, healthy thoughts into your mind feeds your body and makes you a happier, healthier person to live a longer like me. life. Exactly. Well, you do look great. Thank you. You've been working out. And since I've been here on the show, I'm motivating you to work yes, out you harder, are. right? You're going to see my shirt off. Oh, okay, let's see. No, no, we don't <laughs> no, you're telling me to put it back on. I don't want the embarrassed on the air. Oh, gosh. But anyway, this Sunday, the show is going to be phenomenal at 1 p.m. on this station, 1230 a.m., 94.3 FM. Because I have a special guest who actually was the professional hockey player. Wow. And at the height of his career as as far as an athlete, as far as he owns, I believe, 50 different health clubs in the world, Thailand, uh, Canada, and in the U.S., phenomenal, phenomenal fitness expert. Anyway, he was diagnosed with stage four nasopharyngeal cancer, wow. asymptomatic, not one symptom. Hmm. And he, he just went into the doctor and said, something's wrong with me. I don't know what. He was given three months to live almost five years ago. And he's still, and, alive. And still alive. So he's going to be talking to us. What's his name? Was yeah, it mind Peter is something. Twist. Is it about power of the mind, you're saying? Yeah. He didn't power of the mind, but also organic foods, mm -hmm. green juicing he's coming out with a, a line of products called jungle juice and it really is a mindset so, as well just to key into what you're saying you know mm. we had had a uh, doctor on a couple uh, about a week ago who called in who did this oxygen therapy I was and here this, right, yeah, the IV. so yesterday I went in and I actually tried the IV because I was um. feeling you know had this walking pneumonia and I tried the IV and he gave me vitamin B's and all different vitamin B's mm -hmm. and he gave me the oxygen again and when I walked out of there that was about four or five o'clock at night I couldn't even go to sleep by midnight because I was so wound up just yeah. from purely getting the IV it yeah. was at a place called Infusio uh -huh, which is fabulous and I just literally just I and it's like the same thing it's mind and it's body well but that's this what was it like is. an organic method I mean using IV was a little scary but it, yeah it made me feel great. Well, so. and what Les and I were talking about, vitamins. and what I want Dave to pipe in about is nutrition. Mm -hmm. you, we were talking about whole foods. Right. You talk about a little bit. This is like the epitome of whole foods, right? Well, that's, here. A, I, what, that's to me is interesting. The well, vitamins. His skin is so beautiful. Little, too. Look, his skin. I mean, is his amazing? skin is like absolutely like a baby's bottom. Really? <laughs> no, so it's just about what perfectly you do. smooth. What products do you take? What do you? How do you eat? Well, you know, being in harmony, being in synergy with your environment and your routine is very important. You, you know, I tell people all the time who are tired, don't drink caffeine. If oh, you're tired, so what That's do you it. do? I'm done. What do you do when you're tired? <laughs> I don't it, drink caffeine out. anyway. I'm a green tree. You have a little green child and you drinker. tell the child to go to sleep. Taking it. So when you're tired, it's time to go to sleep. When you're, oh. that's just the way things are. Um, you don't take caffeine. Don't take stimulants. Don't take, don't take drugs. But the vitamins. You know. Talk about the vitamins. Well, you as, long as, as long as as long as you um, as long as you are eating proper foods, you should have enough vitamins in there. But remember, early man, we got ten times as much vitamin C in our diet as we do today, and three times as much calcium. So, 
if you can take some natural source supplements, some vitamin C, some minerals, some B complex, that's a good idea. And this Not B too much. Complex really made me feel different. I mean, and honestly, I didn't believe in a lot of that hocus pocus, but <clears throat> I really felt a difference. So it's yeah. it's sort of, and they, I guess the idea of doing something intravenously versus orally, you know, is faster into your system, and that's a little bit freaky anyway. But it's the idea that your health, your mind, your body, your beliefs, your spirituality, good rest, right. good, nutrition, good nutrition, and sometimes a little vitamin boost all together. Yeah you know, keeps you feeling good. Don't I have a question. Uh, I mean, we work in radio, everybody here doing different stuff, but I wor- I wake up every day, like around 5 o'clock in the morning. Me too, me too. That's about my time. Okay, so it is hard when you have a schedule that you, like around 7 p.m., I you're understand. still working and you're doing stuff. So what is the, for the people that are listening right now, because I know, I know a lot of people wake up around 5, they have kids, they work, and they also have a family, so and they, they have to keep going. So they can't take right. No, and also, caffeine is our God. You know yeah. what I mean? We, we just relied on the caffeine. I know. There's people who drink I caffeine know. at midday, at yeah. nighttime, and in the morning, I have two every morning. So now when you said that I've about never coffee, had a cup of coffee in my entire go. life. And I, I get up in the morning at 6, 7 o'clock, and I don't go to sleep till 1, 2 o'clock because I don't need a lot of yes. sleep. I've never I had an alcoholic energy. beverage. You that know, I wish so I could like say. <laughs> Never had a cigarette. How you doing, friend? <laughs> I think. Because it's all a cultural thing. I have to go to the bathroom. True. You have to. You have to make sure your life is integrated with your health, and that's the order. Your life has to integrate with your health. Uh-huh. How about sex? So you have to. You have to make sure that your routine is conducive to your health and well-being, <laughs> including your job, including your workspace, including your environment. You know. That's what we have to manage. And you know, I often used to tell people, a Kung Fu master has no abilities that anyone else doesn't have access to. The only difference between a Kung Fu master and everyone else is we clearly see and identify the cause and effect of everything swirling around us. We see, like catching arrows blindfolded, Mm -hmm. as Les mentioned. There's a reason. Les, catch air. (laughs) <laughs> the, I, I can't even catch a ball with he my catches, eyes open. He catches Cupid's arrow blind. Of God oh, bless man. you. God bless you, Les. No, wait, please. This is, so, this is so interesting because I'm no, into this God, stuff. God, so you, God, you want to be a part of your life. You, want, you, know, this is, you know, the Buddhists would say that for 20 billion years, we haven't existed. We were all inert matter after the Big Bang. And now for a little while, 70, 80, 90 years or so, we're not inert matter. We are conscious and we're alive here in the world. After this, we're going to be dead for another 20 billion years. At this time, for 70, 90 years thereabouts, is the only time we ever have an opportunity to say, yes, I'll do that. I'll try that. I'll be that. For the rest of that 40 billion years, there's only one response possible, and that's, no, I, I don't exist. I can't say yes now. So never decline an opportunity to do something, to explore something, to develop something. That's really the key. And seeing the cause and effect effect of things in your life and in the world around you is extremely important because the Buddhists say, until you see, you know, the cause and effect of things, until you understand the true nature of reality, you can't do anything. You cannot make a valid decision to even cross the street. You may be pushing a rock up the hill. It's probably the wrong hill and the wrong rock until you've been able to perceive the true nature of reality. That's Sisyphus, who, who tried to push the rock up uh, the yeah. hill, right? The Pythian dance. You know, when, yeah, you right? t- when you talked about rocks, I look at Les, because Les has a lot let of me, rocks. Let me tell you, what, I, if anybody <laughs> wants to speak to, to Dave personally on the, on the phone, which would be almost impossible in real life, you'd call us up at 800 800- 889-0267. I read the Dalai Lama, uh, the, the thing that I got out of, I do my mantra every night before I go to sleep. Yeah. I know I, I make everyone laugh. I do it in, in my bathroom because it's the darkest place for me in my house. And what I've un- in one of his books, he said, you're born into this earth. You die into this earth. Everything between life and death determines who you're going to be. And I believe that. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's I, I believe a, that. A yeah. good way to look at yeah. it. Because, you know, there is immortality. It doesn't cease to exist. Mm-hmm. You know, matter is not created or destroyed. It continues. The resonance of your thoughts, um, whether you believe in a metaphysical afterlife. You know, there's an interesting 
an interesting philosophical argument that you cannot actually prove the existence or the possibility of a physical reality. All this could could completely be explained by concept. Everything here is concept. From Heisenberg's uncertainty principle that atoms don't really exist. Matter is mostly empty state, empty space. Right They're just there, fields of potential positive and negative energy. The sum total of all the charges in the universe equals zero. Positive electrons, uh, positive, positive protons, negative electrons. It ultimately was every, everything came from the singularity, the Big Bang. I think there's nothing more religious or spiritual than that. I think I think the, if people would start reading Buddhism, I've been doing this now for about seven years. It gives you a whole different perspective on life. You know, you see people in a different light. You, you don't criticize. You know, I have people. I'm, I'm a terrible driver. I you have no know how many times people give me the finger. I just blow them a kiss. <laughs> That's what I, I do. Too. Kiss him, kill him with yeah, kindness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when someone, you know, you kill know, him with kindness. You know, not, not for nothing less, but I've been on the phone with you, and you do you, you don't you do more than just give him the finger. I've heard you. With road he rage. said he gave him a kiss. He gave him a kiss. Oh yeah, he's, yeah. He, kiss, he, kiss, he, he looks know. in the rearview mirror and kisses himself. Unless his concept, yeah. that's a more compassionate form of love. The the full. The I full, love this guy. Who knows? You know. Let's all let's take take the good. Yeah, take what's you remember? Good. You remember? He could be my bro, buddy. You remember in the in the seventy and in the eighties? You could remember the seventies and eighties. Vaguely, and you used to walk down, and you had your own music. You know, you had your own. Uh, like staying alive, Travolta had his own oh, music. Yeah. Right, right, right. This guy could be your own music. When this you guy's amazing. I could keep him my. If I could afford him, I'd keep him in my car all day long. <laughs> yeah, you keep him in the but background. You know, the truth is, that's why we're such good friends because anything I'm upset about, I'll call him and ask him, and he puts it into a perspective where everything's an illusion and it's mm. all in your mind. And what Liz was Very talking true. about and what we were talking about with disease prevention, mm -hmm. everything's a mindset. You, The power of the mind is incredible. Oh, that reminds me of, I don't know if you heard of Eckhart Tolle. Yeah. Oh, yes. oh yeah. Eckhart Tolle. Yes. I heard of him, yeah. That was a, I, I read one of his books. I don't remember. Earth? <laughs> New Earth? New yes. Earth. Yes. I read his book. I can tell this girl's a reader. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she liked it. <laughs> I wrote a book about, um, you know, the challenging. And New Earth is a little bit about waking up. Uh, your right. reality, who you are, and what is that? Why are you are here in this world? And this person came with this craziness. This is happening to me, Ecker. You need to help me. Da, 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 da. All this drama and narration on her head, right. and he just stay there and say, mm -hmm. "So what?" Exactly. So exactly what? the point. And well, there's so many bigger things going on. You know, I was trying to. I, I always joke around with a lot of friends of mine who believe in Buddhism because I have I lived in California and I was very into earth consciousness and backpacking and hiking and rock climbing and I got very into the whole Buddhist culture and people used to tease me and call me a Jew boo and then I'd call oh. less a Jew boo like because we're Jewish and we believe in this sort of Buddhist well being but I didn't know a lot about the beginnings of Buddhism so when I knew you were coming on the show which I only found out a couple hours ago I just thought I'd read a little bit this morning and I was it was intriguing to find out that it was an 18 year old king who had a couple of children and a wife and he had this calling and he left his family I think they said he had five children or something like that he left his family and he felt like he had to go wait Donald has something Donald Trump does he have his own microphone the doll yes we were just getting so, to the punchline of Ananda and Buddha the timing the of that came. was just really odd so that, what I thought was so interesting about this that was a, a person who was so young 18 and this is like however many you know B.C. You know, when people didn't live that long, BC, right, sure. people didn't live that long, that he lived to be 80 years old, and at 18 years old, he felt his calling, instead of ruling his country, was to go out and find what was wrong with the planet and what was right. wrong with people who were really suffering. And mm -hmm. I thought that was really a, a fascinating beginning of Buddhism, and, yeah. and I, I just didn't know that. Yeah, the boy king. Okay, yeah. he became, so the, he became the spiritual leader. We, we have to, yeah, we have to take a hard break. Let's take a hard break. Lisa, um, your show again on Sundays at 1. 1 p.m. PM, Transform Your Mind, 3. Body, Spirit. Uh -huh. on you can BZT. catch me at lisadwaskin.com. And iHeartMedia Media. app if right. you can't. Uh, mm -hmm. Or am2.tv. Am2.tv, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's take a break, and, uh, and then we'll continue this stuff when uh, we see you on the other side.
please welcome a new sponsor to the show. It's Amp2 TV, the first and only internet network that's truly plugged in. When you're looking for a full-service internet television production company, discover Amp2 TV, a full-service production company that can provide all streaming videos in studio or remotely. They offer web page development and they use all the latest platforms to help make your business selling points more powerful. They can do remotes and live streaming as well as tape productions. Let Amp2 TV handle all of your television production needs. Choose from a variety of creative TV and radio packages and see why Amp2 TV works with many major companies including Comcast, Bravo and Fox 29 as well as individuals and businesses of all types and sizes. To see samples of their work or to find out more visit their website at amp2.tv that's amp the number 2.tv or call them at 1-866-224-5422 that's 866-224-5422 have you ever had a business idea that you thought would be a great solution to tough challenges in today's world, but have no idea how to get started? You don't want to waste investment money on ideas that just don't work. Introducing Health and Wealth Seminars, a sophisticated advertising agency with over 40 years in the ad business. What makes Health and Wealth different from other agencies is they fit your product into the public's need. They help put together the strategy of your business before you commit thousands of dollars and just find out those ideas just don't work. Health and Wealth Seminars carry advertising contracts, radio and television contracts, and even a production service contract that will cover all of your business needs. Call today, 954-303-9563, and let Health and Wealth Seminars carry your business to the next level. The number is 954-303-9563. And remember that what happens when you don't advertise is nothing. 954-303-9563 is the number you need to get your business started in the right direction. You're lunching with two boys from Brooklyn who invite you to advertise on the show. Share your good news. Just call 866-224-5422 and get all the information. There are plenty of options and this could be a great chance to get the word out about your business or service. That's 866-224-5422. Now let's get back to those two boys from Brooklyn. Okay, let's take a look at the traffic and the weather update. It's sponsored by Dr. Penoso, guaranteed to take care of your migraines on the first visit. 561-381-5800. It is a sunny and cool day here in South Florida, and our high temperatures will reach the upper 60s this afternoon, which is well below average for this time of the year. Skies will stay sunny and winds will stay chilly and breezy out of the northwest. There is no chance for rain in the forest in the forecast today. Temperatures will drop very quickly after sunset and tonight will be the coolest night of the week. Mm. Tonight temperatures will drop into the 30s along the Treasure Coast and inland and low to the mid 40s along Palm Beach County coast. Así, take care of your pets and plants today. <coughs> Let's take a look at the traffic. We have a situation on Boyton Beach, I-95 going south. There's an accident there. We already have the police taking care of this and Broward is there's like four accidents in Broward, I-95 and 595, one in Griffin Road, I-95 going south in Oakland Park. This is your traffic and weather update sponsored by Dr. Penoso, 561-381-5800. Before I give the, uh, a plug out to Dr. Penoso, why is always the traffic you know, accidents going you know, south? I, I got to go south. I love it when she does the, the weather in the news. So do I. The, it was the traffic, and I look at you, and you're like, oh, man. Man, I got to go. Of all, first of all, I could see. take 500 different ways home. You told me that five times. You I can got go lost. military. You I got go lost. Down. I ended up in Disney World. Yeah, but you're going north. You got to go south. Oh. Oh. Dr. Pinozo? Who is he? Oh, Dr. Pinozo, folks, let me tell you something. If you suffer from vertigo, that's what Teddy suffers from all the time. And you suffer from TMJ, which a couple of the people on the stage do. And migraine headaches, scoliosis, ACL, neck problems, back problems. What are you looking at? Uh, <laughs> back problems, <laughs> shoulder problems, foot problems. Dr. Pinozo is the answer to every one of your illnesses. And I'm bringing you there. 
Yeah, okay. I want to. He guarantees that with one shot, he will cure all that pain. He gets rid of the scar tissue. We have people that have had knee surgeries, back surgeries. <laughs> this man has, oh, oh my God, you, you're, you're a perfect candidate. Well, I, Doc, if you're listening, we got someone here that really could use you. Call Dr. Pinozo at 561 381. 5800, or you could see him on Pinozo, that's P A N N O Z Z O dot TV, or you could go to amp two dot TV and see some of his shows. Freddie, I'm shutting up. The mic's yours. So, the mic is mine. Okay, so Liz, yes. Yes, I have three quick stories today. Uh, you know, my sign of the times, what's trending stories. One of them is USA opens its first beer spa which is brewing up brisk business. It's called Hops in the Spa, and that's H-O-P-S in the Spa. Where is it? It's in Oregon. It's quite interesting because... It's in Oregon. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's in Oregon. Do you have any hot in the spas in Florida? Because obviously... We were uh, living in Florida, well, but I, I'm giving I, you interesting news I've around got, the country. We're coming over to my spa. This is interesting house. news. <laughs> I, got, so, I got a hot spa for you. Oh, what's here? You're out of my tub. <laughs> yeah, I said come to my hot tub. Where's so everybody coming? line up. Does anybody else cup. find that interesting, well, that they're really. opening a hops <laughs> beer? Yes, let's, let's listen to your stuff. There's a place in Finland. Hold it. There's a place so, in Finland. Wait, one second. Did you see how face? Is this ice in, hotel? No, not so much the ice hotel, but they have uh, they have a hotel there he goes. where no, it's 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 related to this. It was it's ahead. a it, it was that's filled with beer. It's a swimming pool with beer, oh, and all these people come in. They drink the beers and they. Uh, yes. I, I, this I, is not it, about it, drinking the beer. Well, right? a violation of my Buddhist vows. Oh, I don't drink beer. We'll beer. give you we'll give you we'll give you mousy or moosey, whatever it is, <laughs> the non-alcoholic beer. So oh, this yeah, I taste that. This is not about drinking beer. This is about the fact that hops is actually quite good for the yes. skin yes. and it has a lot of healing properties mm-hmm. hops itself is healing and from the mo- the reason he opened it because in Europe like Les was saying they have a series of hops beer bars uh. like a spot sports sort of spa okay, what's bars the give me so, a quick anyway a quick moving on <laughs> another sign I have two more signs of the times here another sign of the times is that police actually filed an official report that states man kills his computer has anybody heard this story? Not really. It's an official p- report. <laughs> actually, in Colorado, actually in Colorado, a man was arrested because his victim was his Dell desktop, which he struggled with for, very, for many, many months and decided to shoot eight gunshots into his Dell computer. Oh, so the police wow. arrived but at the this scene. every day. No, but this is I break more the headline was. Did this with O.J. Simpson? Man <laughs> kills his computer. Gloves. I thought that was a sign of the time. <laughs> And uh, oh, go ahead. Finish. There's, finish. there's a final story, which is my favorite story, which you've probably heard of, and it comes straight out of Brooklyn. It's about the story. It's been all over the news about the story of the young kid who lost his wallet, and his wallet was returned to him, and it was returned in the mail with the following note, and he's been all over the news. And here's the note. Dear Riley Flaherty, I found your wallet and your driver's license and your address, so here's your credit cards and other important stuff. I kept the cash because I needed weed. The men... <laughs> The Metro card because, well, the fare's $2.75 now, and the wallet because it's kind of cool. Enjoy the rest of your day. Toodles, Anonymous. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. How much do we you love that? I like that, too. I, love it. I like that. Whenever I'd get a bike stolen, I used to think, well, you know, there's a lot Nobody more people to. who need a bike a lot worse than How I do. Oh, every t- it's, it's my excuse to get the new model. Right. You know? did, wait, <laughs> did you grow up in Brooklyn? No, no, no. I, I guess I, I learned not to not to leave my bike unlocked there, huh? Oh, it doesn't matter, Brooklyn. They'll break the lock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I They'll have take something. the whole bar with them in Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. Get the now lock. we're talking about health. And yes. There's a crazy thing on the news today. Woman shampoo session at the salon nearly kill her. Mm. What? How in the world could that happen? I'm so not understanding. Shampoo, huh? The shampoo, shampoo session, somebody got a shampoo. Was she allergic to it? That when she went, she didn't know what's going on. She was still, she started feeling like weird, Allergy. headaches, and then she got a massive stroke. Oh, oh wow. wow! She was allergic to it. No, it, it's called like uh, the ah, uh, I lost it now. <laughs> the shampoo chair syndrome. Oh my God! I never heard what? of that. Wow. Yes. That's crazy. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, so some kind of anaphylactic <laughs> shock yeah. over, you know, this reaction. Friday sure. gets freakier and freakier. Oh, my God. I, I what got, happened to these French fries that I, you were teasing us about, which I, I don't I, eat I, anyway? I didn't, I didn't have time. <laughs> no, we'll she, do it next week. We'll she, do. No, she got a lawsuit 
to the beauty salon. Okay. She sued the beauty salon right. and she got money out of it. Right. She got some kind of, when they, they were trying to prove that when she was getting her shampoo, she was shaked too hard, something wow. happened. And everything was related to the shampoo. It, it's wow. amazing how people will sue for anything. Oh, what about the McDonald's? Uh, but he, wait a minute. He sues and makes a, 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 a $650,000 cause the coffee was too hot. hot. Yeah, now, but she won that suit. Yeah, she did. Why? Because they don't want to fight it. That's why now they have to It's supposed to be hot, that's folks. Why, that's why it's important to acknowledge cause and effect. Cause exactly. Cause and effect. Well, you know, you're saying the same thing that Dr. Pinozo said. He said the reason he could cure people is because he knows the cause of that pain. Absolutely. All right, listen. Pinozo so Sundays. This isn't focal. Pinozo. No, we're just talking about. We're just yeah, talking understand. about this. I understand. Listen, I got one for you. And there are women in here. First uterine operation done yesterday. Did you see that? First uterine Uterine. What? Uterus was put into a woman oh, who could not have children. Oh, yeah. Yes. Wonderful. And oh, no, it, I didn't hear about that. That's oh, absolutely wonderful. little applause. Put some applause up there. No, that's wonderful. But this is, this is unbelievable. Who took my belt? Because women, women who can't give children, cannot have children, they wow. have this operation. And it's not permanent. It has to come out after a certain number of months, oh, and you get pregnant. Rejection. That's right. So, but wow. do you know how they put this thing together? Very carefully. No, they did a mass data computer from all over the world. All human beings' data went into this computer. It took 15 years. All of this material to be put together. The computer figured out the differences, and that's why it works. Wow. But what that's I'm confused right. about right. is, so they put the uterine in, but they now they have to test to see if it's going to work. We no, don't no, know it that. will yet. work. It's just not a permanent. It it's, it's not no. The doctor said they've been testing it, Wonderful. and yesterday they had the so first one. So she can one. get pregnant. She can she carry can a baby pregnant, for nine months, the and then they it might remove be three the baby years. with the uterine. No, no, it might be three years, four years. It's a an amount of time that the body will then begin to reject it, right. and right. you got it. But in this, the way that it was calculated wasn't only human minds. It was a multiple of human minds put into a computer from all over the world and the computer made up the difference. It actually thought out the problems. Well, see, this is it. what scares me. It's because pretty soon the computers are going to be doing all the thinking for us and they won't be humans anymore. Way, These I, computers are going to take something? over the world. The way I see <laughs> My wife right doesn't now. need me anymore. She got a computer that well, doesn't. Your, your wife started no, meeting I, you 40 really, years you know, ago. What is that? I, what is that movie? I, I uh, movie. I, I, I robot. The iRobot. Oh, yeah, yeah. It really, sure, there is validity Isaac to Isaac Asimov, that. the Foundation Trilogy. Sure, he predicted this, you know, last middle of last century but you know technologists talk about that and they discuss what's called the singularity which we have the big bang singularity when everything started but the singularity is when and it's estimated to be it's estimated to take place within the next about 40 40 or so years when computers will develop consciousness true AI Which is very and scary well yeah. maybe it is I mean but, they're going to replace our existence how much of us yeah, and that's we really can't the point. Fight them I see physically. that conflict. We, can't, we couldn't. We compete. we don't really need to look at it that way. Yes, I mean, we can. can't fight nature physically. We you can't fight the universe. Computer. That's not the problem. But I like not that if they become intelligent. And they but what I like ways. about what this aspect was, they looked at the the problem in the opposite direction. You know, we try to cure cancer by trying to figure it out. I just saw that they just came out with a. They trick cancer. There's a, a a thing that eats the cancer cell, and the cancer they made it so the cancer cell will eat because it loves that particular cell, but it mm -hmm. doesn't destroy any other cells. So all of this is unique. I also read where they're using high fever, where they give you the chicken pox or mumps or something. Right. In Canada, they're using this. Well, it's Canada always body to well, fight what the do cancer. you think? But it takes out the tumors. Right. What do you think shots are? Flu shots and all these. What they're doing is when they give you a flu shot or a measles shot or anything else, they are taking that disease and they're putting it into your body so that your own body yes. learns how to fight it. No, I understand. There's something called stem cell regeneration. No, I, I understand. And so cancer is being fought that way as well. They're taking stems, your own stems, and they're putting them back into your body to help fight off the cancer. No, no, I understand that. But the problem, the difference here is that they use technology with the with the opposite effect. They let the computers figure out what man was putting into it, the data, mm -hmm. and they saw the flaws, and the computer figured out the difference. Right. And therein lies the difference. If you take that approach in a lot of things, because we don't know enough, we're, we're just not there yet. We know more than yesterday, but we're just not there yet. And if you can get computers to talk to each other, or countries, or different minds to talk to each other in one singular place, 
miraculous things could happen. Can you imagine if you couldn't have children and today there's a way for you to have children? No, that's oh, fabulous. That's tremendous. But it's, it, it's basically simple mathematics and calculations. Right now, the computers are being trained to take information and put it into a database and then calculate a result. And that result, no, in this case, it's a, no, it's, it's a calculation no, of sorts. It's, it's of different course philosophies. it's a calculation. It's, it's taking all oh, these philosophies. philosophies. It's different okay. concepts but and, it's and finding theories. The common, it's finding the commonality, which but is a man, calculation. But man or woman could not do it. They needed the help of many minds. Well, Fred, it's You're communication. Missing, exactly. Right? Well, exactly. Communication. The object of the game here isn't the solution. It's the way the solution was obtained. Right. which is really different. I think it's really cool that we're using technology as opposed to making a missile that blows up 400 people but doesn't blow up buildings, that we're using it for medicine that makes sense. Do, do you think human beings are ready? And that's the thing Liz brings up. Are we ready to receive better advice? Are we ready? And I think maybe Buddhism is helpful here because I think we can be sure of ourselves and at peace enough to take it. If somebody comes along, whether it's Bernie Sanders or Donald Trump, and says, this is something that will long-term fix things. Well, computers are definitely you know. a necessary part of our process. Now, There's maybe. A, now qu quite clearly. But are we playing God? That's what you're saying. Are no, we playing that's not what I'm saying yeah. at all. Not yeah. at all. Okay. What I'm saying is cal computers are a means to an end. It's still humans right now that are putting that information into the computer. What frightens me is that when computers start to become more intelligent, which they are, that they don't need the humans to give them the information to come to the conclusion. We have to, we have to forget so fear, I think. I hear you. Well, that's, it's, what, that's what they say is a possibility in our future, mm -hmm. that if that happens and computers do develop their own intelligence, it's, it's a very different you know, what about a, that we're a, looking at. Well, if you look at that way, what about a calculator? I mean, when you don't know, then it's not its own intelligence, amount. though. No, it's what a I mean is, you're item. looking for an answer in a calculator. It's as simple as that. You're looking to multiply three billions over 345. You don't know how to do it right now. Right. But I give you, and the machine is giving you the right. answer. That's pretty much what we're doing. When I, we're talking. But we've programmed that. I have a that Freaky machine. Friday exactly. story. Can I say a <laughs> Freaky Friday story? <laughs> oh any any other voices will be fantastic. Shift the gears. That's good. Shift the gears. That's okay. okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, girl. We were, we were showing Dave scars a minute ago on his leg. Now, you ready for a Freaky Friday story? Yes, that's what I want, Freaky okay. Friday. The power of the mind, what the mind can make the body do. He fell out of a plane and <gasps> broke what? both of his legs and was told he couldn't walk. So go ahead. Take wait a minute, wait a minute. How do you fall out of a, out of a, a plane? plane in the sky? Well, or a fell, plane I'm on the sorry. Ground? They, they, they didn't pull the steps out for me. No, they <laughs> I'm yeah, very, I'm very That's what I thought. The plane was parked and he fell out he the plane. He fell out the plane. I should have waited. Why did you just yeah. walked right jumping. out of an open door? I'm sorry. He was jumping out of a plane with a parachute. The parachute was defective. Like an idiot. He broke both legs and was How high up were you? Well, he had to be high. Well, well, let let me tell you, it doesn't even matter about your height. Listen to that, story. Though. You're not going to believe I'll let, it. I'll let you tell you story in yeah. one second. It doesn't matter about your height, parachute or not. If you jump out of a plane, because I went parachute. Wait, wait, hold it. We want to find oh, yeah. out what happened. I know, I know. One second. If you jump out of a plane and you run and you land, even if your parachute works, it's a hard landing. Oh, and you sure. can You can seriously injure Talk yourself anyway. How you, you recovered from all well, that. Well, yeah, the doctors said right away, well, the people ran up to me and goes, dude, dude, how are you not dead? Dude, we saw you coming in. We're like, that dude's dead. I'm like, could you <laughs> could you call 911? He goes, oh, dude, your legs are totally broken. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> how, and there was some, you know, dude, and beach dudes like, oh, up on the how beach. High, really how cool. high were you? Well, you know, you jump from different altitudes, 15,000, 20,000 <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. You were 15,000? The parachute was working until you came. Well, I might have been, you know, hot-dogging a little bit. I, I kind of <sighs> over. What about your back? How was your... Yeah, oh, you're right on because the one doctor said that my hip would have to be redone and broken apart and then redone. And the other doctor said my other knee would have to be reconstructed. And, of course, the lower <gasps> back was... And, and I face-planted. So how did you heal yourself? Now on no, the beach just, every day. You know, I, I, didn't even think, I didn't even think anything of it. When the doctors told me, said, the one doctor, he said, you know, you're, you're not going to be able to walk again without at least a crutch. You know, I said, nah, buddy, <laughs> relax. It's, it's fine. And, Tell uh, the story about the two patients that you take to the Oh, mall my God, yes. The one guy got <laughs> hurt on the motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, when the one guy got, you know, he wiped out on a street bike and his right leg was messed up. The other guy was a soccer player who just needed some 
some reconstruction on his knees, minor stuff, just a little tilt of his knee. So these guys were fine, and they're in wheelchairs. And they wouldn't get up. And they, mm. Yeah, they like, wouldn't get up. I said, come on. Fell out of a plane. And, and they asked me, they said, where, they said dude, where are you going? Uh, and he told me, he goes, I was walking four hours after the operation. Four like hours after you they bolted to them together. How. What did you do? I don't know. I didn't do anything. Well, I got a story Whatever. with me. Yeah. Okay. I, w I was diagnosed with the worst case of Crohn's disease when I was 18. And they said to my father and my mother, if he makes it to 24, you'll be very lucky. Wow. I started exercising. All the foods that they told me not to eat, I ate. I started That's eating. That's the smartest thing. And, he, and he's shaking your hand. And he's 96. Don't believe, so don't believe Monsanto. Trick. Don't no. believe them. And I got a story. Yeah. And that's true. Today I got a story. story. You went, this is, this yeah, is like, this okay. is like the movie. Freddie washed his hair I, at 16, I, I, and he hasn't I, been the same I, since. I, Go I, ahead. I got a story. Yeah. I used to play baseball a lot, and I got the worst splinter in my finger. I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> I almost died. You went splinter. from a man falling out of a plane to Crohn's disease well, to a know, splinter? I, what I, about I, I, I needed a wheelchair. Like I had a wheelchair meet in the hospital. This thing hurt a lot, man. You're Puerto Rican. You guys don't feel any pain. Right, Daisy? Why are you, why are you t asking me? What are you? Puerto Rican. I'm the Puerto Rican. Oh. oh, you don't even know what I am. It's I like, am. you know, <laughs> I am offended. You, I am offended. Oh, you all, st all you Spanish look the same. I'm kidding. Oh, oh he just, he just I, don't I, I, look at me. I thought you were Puerto Rican. He's an emotional, are sensitive are man. What is he? What I am a, I am a sensitive man. Does man your shirt say Brooklyn, Les? I'm a Brooklyn sensitive man. Does your shirt say Brooklyn? All right. My wife didn't do the laundry today. My wife never does the laundry. I do my own laundry. Because she won't separate wow, my underwear. The way. I like to hang up my underwear. Dry it off. You don't need to wash it right away. Really? You wash it First next of all, week. He wears one thong a week. And he, <laughs> why, why does he always he bring it back to takes a shower when he washes it in the shower. Wear your we thong, and when you go out on the on the weekend, put some underwear over it. I got another story to tell you for Freaky Friday. <laughs> no, wait okay. a minute. What am I? You are Hispanic. Is it okay. Friday? You're Dominican. Yeah. Oh, come okay. on, Daisy. You're a double D. Like, wait, that didn't come out right. <laughs> Daisy. I'm a double D? I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> a Dominican Daisy. I know you were done. I, okay. I'm going to say, he didn't before even we go, own pun there. I'm going to tell you this. That was a women one, women <laughs> rule this world, and people don't realize that. I'm going to tell you why. Okay, it's when a you're in your car, is a happy life. you hear someone go like this, hi, this is Bob, you're going the wrong way. No, you hear a woman tell you, make a right, make a left. Siri isn't a guy. I mean, if a guy was on that, Not hey, true. what the Siri heck is you asking me where to go? Yeah. I know what I'm doing. Will you let me finish? Siri is what you want it to be, guy or girl. That's true. Want to be a girl. Liz, thanks for clarifying That's what that. I'm this poor to guy, clarify. he it's turned on the default. Girl. He didn't realize the app had choices. Do you That's know okay. the latest Why choice? couldn't you have just left You him? could have a guy do it? Really? Yes, yes. That's why I interrupted you to correct you. My kids put on a British woman speaking. Yes. Oh, I, look, I, I you know what? You know what might work less for you is the Luther Vandross Siri voice. Oh. You just relax. Well, no, I would, look, I would, I would have a picture of yeah. Liz in my wallet and put Luther Vandross on. Have an, I'd, I'd have a heart attack <laughs> and an accident at the same time. But you know when I come into the hospital to say, he must have been very happy when he died. <laughs> do, you know, do you know the, the black actor in White House Down? They, yes. They did London oh, Down now? Yes. He's yes. the latest GPS voice. Oh, he's a great voice. You can get him to you do your GPS. Morgan Freeman. Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Freeman is, Jamie Fox. He's the Morgan latest Freeman. Waze voice. Oh, Morgan Waze. Freeman. I can wish him all he was day hired long. to be yeah. the Waze voice. voice. No, no, I got him on GPS. I was told he's the Waze voice. No, no, he's GPS. You can put him on your phone. Yeah. He's got one of the greatest voices out. He will direct you. And he's certainly no one. Woman. You can also get C3PO on Ooh. as C3PO. C3PO. Phil Daniels. Not Phil Daniels, Phil uh, yeah, Phil Daniels. You can get C3PO. For, for GPS? Oh, yes. From Star yeah. Wars, the gold robot. Yes. Okay. Les, the reason you're so happy, I really believe this, is because a happy wife is a happy life. And you certainly treat your wife very well from the story. She's got all the money. Well, you're just good. You're good to her. You're kind oh to her. God. I think that's really what the big thing is. Yes, I do have a great wife. I'm very. And I am, you exercise. Which I exercise great. every and day. And you meditate in the bathroom. Meditate. Well, I meditate in the morning. <laughs> not in the he bathroom. He meditates in the bathroom. No, yes, he does. Yeah. And his I'm wife hasn't been in town for about three years. <laughs> I don't even think I'm married. <laughs> Other than, other than that, I haven't seen my wife in three years. You're right. I know that. Hey, honey, if you're listening, call up. I want to make sure you're okay. 800-889-0267. All right, we got uh, we got about what two four minutes. No, we got a lot of time for you. You Keep got you got to go somewhere. I got two questions. Okay. Two. Questions. Okay, go ahead, baby. Two we got two questions. How old a lad is our guest? How old a lad are you? Which one, the male or the female? It's hard to tell how old he is. I just they threw me my 39th official birthday party. 
just last month. Wow. Oh, he's just and amazing. Job, 38th the job. month before that. And I've known him for three years. He's been 39 for three years. Thank you. My mother, actually, my mother's actually, no, it's coincidental because my mother's actually been 39 since I was in high school. Oh. Also, yeah. Dad, you, were you born on February 29th? Then maybe that's why. Oh, we yeah. 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 oh, no, Just no. saying. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, what would a person that be like 15 years old? Right? He actually has two birth dates. <laughs> What do you Let me tell you something. Sorry. Wait. You know, the original monk that I was, when, when I went to Tibet the first time I was on the temple, the monks told me, your name is not David, whoever you think you are. You're not a kung fu master. Your name is Milarepa, and you were a great monk named Sherub Shedrup Dorje, and we've been waiting for you to sister? return. And I said, what? what? They said that? you were first, yeah, they said you were born in 1052 A.D., in Jingaza Temple, in, in, in this valley. That was my next uh, oh. thing, that you've been here before, brother. You've that's, been yeah, here before. That's what they told me. I, I didn't want to be disrespectful. Well, you know, you're right. You know. well, I'll tell you why. why. Brian Weiss, Many Wives, Many oh, Masters. Oh, yeah. Greatest that's book. That's why, a dear friend of mine, Many oh, Wives, Many... Yeah, oh, yeah. I love me, him. Let, let, which is on, true. That's why falling out of a plane, you're still... Yeah, there. Many I mean, Wives, Many Masters. You're, you're not you're real. real. I'll tell you. we're disposable, actually. You know, it's like a pair of socks. You wash them eventually. This idea, the obsession with people saying, I want to live longer, I want to live forever... Change your socks. Yes, just don't they wash say? them, right. please. Yeah. Buddha says you're never going to live forever, but enjoy the life you're here. Right. One of the things, I, I don't know if I ever told you, I went to Tibet to visit the Buddha, and the first thing I said, there's no air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I said, Buddha, I'm Jewish. There's no air conditioning. Where do I go to the bathroom? Good this is not yeah. Brooklyn. <laughs> there's no plumbing in a lot of There's places. no air conditioning. I mean, come on. Electricity. Yeah. Freaky when, Friday when is coming to, to an end. <laughs> Les, when, when, when did you go to Tibet? I was only kidding. Oh, well, maybe in a past life. I did. Yeah, you well, in like my you past life, the life I have now, I was a stud that could go nine hours. You know, the interesting thing about reincarnation, Now you're a dud that goes nine seconds. <laughs> you know what? I wish I could go nine seconds. <laughs> hey, do you know what Jewish foreplay is? It's begging for four hours. <laughs> oh That's God. a Roger Danger thing. I saw that about 40 years ago. That's good, though. Now, please, don't out him. You know, let, let, we have a guy the new generation think no, he you came gotta up. Now, wait. You gotta I got to ask Lisa. I wanted you to help me prove that I could go longer than nine. I, I mean, he made a thing. I'm making a challenge Help the to you. guy. Huh? I don't know. Oh, Miss Florida yeah. six years ago. I, nine seconds would be fine. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> God, I love this guy. I don't need you anymore. I'm hanging out with him. What if I only last two seconds? There you go. <laughs> All I can say is, if you guys are together, this is the hottest looking couple I've seen in a long time. Oh I don't know who I like better. I don't know if you like better. I, I don't know if you, you know, that's oh three no. times you've made that remark. I mean, the guy, I, I don't know what you, <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm really I can have a, wait a second, I'm allowed I'm to have a bromance. Extremely concerned. Well, so I want to reach a certain age, it doesn't matter it doesn't anyway. Really Look matter. at Caitlyn Jenner. You know, I think he got the breasts just for two or three hundred million dollars. But he's still got nuts. He, yeah, he says I'm not going to got the breasts just so we can touch himself. Just, so we, can, <laughs> just okay. so we can get a three hundred million dollar paycheck. I, right? wa I, wa right. I want to thank everybody for oh. being here today. Definitely, I want, I want to thank Dave a lot. Definitely Lisa. Uh, and all the rest of the crew. You guys made Woo! Freaky Friday really great. Uh, look for us on Monday. We might still be here. Freddie, again, always thank you. Liz, always thank you. Connecticut, always thank you. Take a night out. And Good night, Ollie. Well. Thank you. Bye -bye, Sayonara. Well, that's about it for today's lunch break with two boys from Brooklyn. You're invited to join the break every day, Monday through Friday at 12 noon. So, if you missed some of the good stuff they served up today, there's more coming next time. Bring your lunch and the boys from Brooklyn will bring the smiles. And it's all live. See you next time. Now, go enjoy the rest of your day.